So this young lady says, I have a problem with blushing during important meetings at work. Not only does my face turn red, but my brain feels cloudy and I trip over my words. Yeah, this can be really difficult to, to deal with when, when you're at work and you begin to feel your nervous system react. Now, the important thing is to really begin to take a look at what is your nervous system actually reacting to? And so you can seem like when we're in those situations that our nervous system is reacting to uh, people looking at us or um, it, or what people are thinking about us. Right? But in reality, the only thing that our nervous system can react to is what's going on up here. Now, that may or may not seem helpful uh, because it can seem like we can't really control what's going on up here. And I think that's kind of true. I don't think we can always control. I mean, we can consciously think thoughts, I think, <laughs> but but we're going to have thoughts popping into our head all the time. You know, we've got such a storehouse of memories and experiences. I'm not sure that we're uh, in control of what shows up in any given moment. And so there may be moments when we have, when we experience blushing and we experience uh, brain fog and we, and we stutter. The key is to not make those moments so important. And one of the things that really serves me and my clients is beginning to really reflect on the fact that those feelings are coming from whatever thoughts we're in in that moment. And if we don't follow that thought thread, if we don't jump on that tr moving train of thought, if we just let it move through us and we don't make a big deal, even if we are blushing, you know, we didn't say, oh my gosh, sorry, I'm a little nervous right now. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm blushing. We've all been there. Like everybody's been there. And so sometimes just calling it out can really create a um, sense of safety. Now, of course, that's period. That's not advice. That's just do, do what makes sense to you. The first and foremost, the fir first and foremost thing to really reflect on is what if I what if I just sat here with this feeling? What if I just sat here with this blushing feeling? What would happen? Well, try it out. See what would happen. And, and the, the deal is, it might get worse before it gets better. But to allow yourself to sit in those moments and let them be there without fighting it, without resisting it, without giving it more meaning than it deserves can truly help your nervous system catch up. It can help your nervous system process whatever's going on. And once it realizes that it's actually safe and it's okay. Well, that can create room in a crowded mind for more realizations and more clarity. And more clarity means more resources for you, whether it's something that you say, whether it's how you look, how you act, it's all context specific, but you are capable of so much more than you realize. And this is one of my true passions is really helping my clients recognize that them for themselves. And the repercussions of really taking the time to sit and move through all of these things, these experiences, these, these worries, these fears, these problems that we have about social anxiety and how it affects our work. This can, this can, in a positive way, bleed out into so many different areas of our lives. It's a holistic approach, which is something I love. And I love helping people uh, with this type of thing.